Hey guys, this is Steve from iStockSecrets.com. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to use Deep Meta, which is the program for getting your images into iStock. I, uh, to manage your photographs, to keyword, uh, to tag them, to um, add, your, add, your, add your model releases, etc., etc. So I'm going to show you some stuff right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to open up the program, which is Deep Meta here. It's going to take a second to open up. You can see it bopping. It's a free download, by the way. Just go to deepmeta.com, download it, and you're ready to rock. Okay, first thing we see here underneath the images tab, kind of over here, is you'll see my images. One thing you're going to want to do when you first open up Deep Meta, when you haven't done anything at all before, you'll probably have to set up, make, make, make some, uh, um, you know, you have to log in as, as, as who you are and whatnot, but you can go to this thing right here called iStock Photo. And here, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to hit Fetch All Data. Now, this could take a second, so I might pause the video right here, but you can kind of see here that it grabs the data from my images that are already on iStock, which will give me statistics. Um, and basically, it'll allow me to kind of look at things if I need to edit keywords or whatnot. Um, I'm going to need to do this at some point so that, or you're going to need to do it at some point. I've already done it, but um, as you upload images, whatever, Deep Meta will keep this information. If you make changes on iStockphoto.com, you'll need to do this again so that you're able to um, get all the, whatever, how many downloads the images have, uh, any edits that you want to make to keywords, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, this will take a second. I'll probably fast forward or something. Okay, so this is finishing up fetching all of my statistics, all of my data for any of my images. Um, and now we're done. And when it's finished here, it'll, I think it'll say finished. Well, it looks done, so I can hit close. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so right now what you can see over here on the right side of the screen, this area right here are images that I've already sent over to download. So because I have them in my queue ready to download, it's not going to make a lot of sense, but I can actually, well, actually what I can do is I, I can move, I can highlight them all holding my shift key and clicking on there. I can move them using this little area in here to move them all back over to my editing area. Okay. I'll show you more about uploading your images in a second. The first thing I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to go back up to images, which is over here. That's going to show where my images are. So the first thing that I'd want to do, if I want to get some new images in here, after you've kind of updated and kind of seen uh, your, all, all the, all the updates to your images take place. You can see when it was uploaded. You can see the last download. You can see how many views your images have had. You can sort them by views. You can sort them upward, downward by views. Um, you can sort them by royalties over here. So you can sort them by $0 or up here. I've got one image that sold for almost a thousand dollars total, um, had about 661 downloads. So you can get this information. It's helpful to kind of look at some things, but if you want to start new types of, um, shoots you're going to do, you're going to be like, hey, whoa, what, what things sell for me? This interior of a kitchen's going great. This billiards room that I have here, some appetizers, those are really doing good for me. Whatever, you can kind of look at here. It'll give you some information to be able to base some of your further shoots on. Um, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some new images. And uh, by clicking on this add new images deal here, it's waking up a drive. So that's why I'm getting my little uh, fun little window here. Um, Underneath Wharf uh, is where I've put these images, and they are under, I think they're just here somewhere underneath Out. They are underneath Out. So I just want to grab, excuse me, I'm going to add new images again. I'm going to select all of them by using, well, on my Mac, I'm using Apple A to select all of them, and I'm hitting Add. That's going to grab all of these 47 images that I have. Now, I'm shooting with a 5D mark two and so these images are pretty big 21 megapixel images they're triple extra large um the larger your image is the more potential for you to make money on those images because they cost more money um another way that if you're an exclusive photographer for, first of all i would like to say i would encourage you guys all to become an iStock exclusive photographer because you're going to make a better percentage on your sales and your images are also going to get corrected faster probably um or excuse me except they're just going to be um reviewed by uh, the reviewers and get accepted a little bit quicker so i think it's common knowledge out there 
Um, so if you're exclusive, you'll probably be able to move along this process a little faster. Um, one of our things that I've mentioned a number of times is you got to make sure that you always have your queue full of images so that images are always being rejected or, um, or accepted, hopefully, every day, um, which means that we can keep growing uh, our iStock collection, which means that we're going to be able to make our $3,500 a month um, goal a success. So you can see right here, it's adding images, about 47 images. These images are big, so it's going to take a little bit of time for it to grab those images. Uh, once these images are imported into Deep Meta, you're gonna see, because I have no keywords, it can grab keywords and grab other things that you can tag them with, with like Lightroom or whatever, but I don't have any keywords on these at all. So they're gonna show up as red. Red means that the image is not ready for upload. So you'll see that in a second here. These images are almost done uploading. You'll see this here quickly. I'm having some Stumptown coffee from Portland, Oregon. It's really good. I would encourage you guys to try some. Uh, still going here. Again, I'll show you where it. you'll see them in red. You'll see these new images. So we're going to go through the whole process of tagging an image with keywords, putting a title, getting your model release put in there, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, hopefully front to end, you'll be able to know how to use this program fairly well. Okay, so it looks like the images are all done here. I can hit close now. So if I go down, if I scroll down, I've probably got about 1,300 images or something like that. Um, if we if we sort by the upload date, um, should be at the bottom, you'll see all my recent images here that I've just uploaded. You can see they're all red because that means they are not ready to download. So. I'm going to work with a couple images that I've taken of myself. Um, one of the things that I've mentioned is that it's really rad to be able to take images of yourself because you can use them and um, you know you can always shoot yourself. So I've got me here in a fez looking like some sort of uh, Egyptian guy or maybe like a mason or something. So I'm actually going to call it uh, Egyptian Mason excuse me, Mason Man Vintage um, Holding Height in Mouth. Okay, one thing to also remember here is that because iStock is now searchable through Google, your titles matter. I used to call my stuff like Smoking Man 1 or something like that, but that's not going to be as good for capturing uh, the, the, the kind of, it's essentially SEO for your images. Google will show up um, all this information online. So if you can find something that's gonna be really pertinent, great. You can only put 10 words. Let me see if I put and glasses. Great. I'm, I'm trying to try to maximize the amount of image, excuse me, the amount of words I use in my title. So for my description here, I'm um, do a similar type of thing. You know, I'm just gonna copy and paste this as my first sentence. It's just a quick way of getting it through. I can say, man is wearing V-neck sweater, uh, has tinted, tinted uh, glasses on, um, retro looking, image with wall paper in background. Okay, cool. So that I'm done there. Now you can see over here where it says actually I've got two errors. Click for details. Before I had four errors because I didn't have a title. I didn't have a description, but now I have a title and a description. Also here you can you can you can show underneath your, underneath your options if you want to allow for prints or you want to allow for extended licenses. I always do because I want to make that money on there. This image is actually a pretty cool image, so I am going to nominate it for VETA, but um, you don't have to nominate things for VETA. If you don't know what VETA is, VETA is more of the higher-end aspect of iStock photography, and that means that your images will sell for a lot more money if someone buys them, and they show up better. You only want to put your kind of creme de la creme of images into the VETA collection. So I'm putting this one in because I think it's rad, and I'm going to move to there. So I've got two errors. So you need to go over here to Keywords, just to this Keywords tag, 
and I need to start actually writing some keywords. So I'm gonna add, go to the add keywords, little thing right here, add keywords, and I'm gonna start going. I'm gonna say Fez Hat Man Pipe Smoking Sweater Wall Paper Vintage Retro Glasses um, Beard uh, Red we got a red hat. Colors work well too. Brown tone. Um, turtle neck. Um, thinking. Think of keywords that also make sense to your image as far as uh, not just not just the ooh, <laughs> not just the um, image, not just the description of the image itself, but how it could be used. So it could be. Um, it could be rich man. Maybe this guy's uh, some sort of lord in Egypt. Um, I'm gonna put Egypt, um, Mason, Masons, um, weird, uh, male. Okay, let's put those for now. Okay, that's fine. So hit okay. What's gonna happen now is um, Deep Meta is gonna take those words and oh, I didn't know you could actually have Morocco Fest, whatever. It's gonna take these keywords you've put here and you're gonna be able to see in this area that you might need to check some things as far as actually what it is. So turtleneck, there's only one turtleneck. Rich means wealth, whatever. Fez, I'm gonna put Fez hat and I'm gonna leave it there because that's what it is. Glasses, it's eyewear, it's not dishware. Male is human, is a human gender. Um, Masons is a, I don't know, man. it's not a manual worker. So I'm just gonna leave it like that without cleaning anything else. Pipe tobacco product, um, 1941 retro style imagery, smoking using mouth. Uh, sweater is a top. Vintage, I'm gonna say old fashioned styles. Wallpaper pattern is in the background. And it's also decor, so I'm gonna click both. I'm gonna put bizarre eccentric characters. Okay, so, okay. so now you'll notice, once I've said okay to that, um, let's, let's keep, let's don't click that image again. There's still one error remaining is I haven't clicked any categories. So I need to go to the categories area here and I am going to now click, um, uh, let's just put business people. Maybe he's the businessman. I don't know. Character and ideas. Let's just go down to, um, people. He's a person. Uh, let's see what else here. Lifestyle. Uh, I don't like lifestyle. Why don't we go to success for concepts idea? Maybe the guy has got success because he's kind of weird. Okay, so 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 currently this image is ready to upload because there are no more errors. However, this image does need a model release. 